At Simonstown, near the Cape of Good Hope, fittingly enough, a happy event is expected. Wendy the whale has floated into calmer waters to wait for the stork, or whatever bird it is that brings baby whalers to town. Wendy is one of the black whales that frequent tropical seas. She's just about 60 feet long, and her fine, graceful tail is the envy of all the girls around the coast. Our mermaid reporter tells us that Wendy's already been introduced to the boys of the training ship Botha, and they've all promised to be godfathers. The only snag is that Wendy might have a litter, and then there won't even be room in the bay for a tiddler. Talking of ships, a new submarine lifesaver is on view at a Milan exhibition. It's worked on the principle of a lift, operating in a shaft of the ship's escaping chamber. In case of emergency, the pressure of a lever raises a steel canopy that covers the shaft. The lift is really a tapered cylinder that works independently of the ship's engines, and it's attached to the ship by a cable. The cylinder holds one man, and when it reaches the surface and the man has escaped, it automatically closes and returns to the ship, the cable directing it into position. Experts regard it as a great stride forward in submarine rescue apparatus. A great step backward, but nevertheless a step in the right direction, in the opinion of a Stockholm motorist, is the resurrection of an old electric car. In these days of petrol shortage, it's the very idea. So bring out your electric cars, you motorists, and show the right spirit by not using any. Incidentally, this model is over 20 years old, a triumph of juice over gas. <laughs> 